health experts say that eight out of 10 people infected with the West Nile virus will not develop symptoms, but they say the virus, like other viral diseases, is here to stay and urge you to take precautions. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto has a story. West Nile is one of those viruses that is transmitted by a mosquito. The city confirmed its fifth case of West Nile virus, all with underlying health issues. We do know, though, is that if you have symptoms, they're usually pretty mild. It's usually a flu-like illness, but then there are some symptoms where it can be a lot more dangerous. And ways to prevent the virus are the four Ds. D, dress, dusk and dawn, and drain. It means that you can wear pants and you can wear long sleeve shirts. And that's a way that you also are going to be preventing the mosquitoes from biting you or exposing your skin to mosquito bites. The next one is going to be draining stagnant water. And the last but not least, using a insect repellent. Officials say the virus can be more dangerous for children, the elderly, and the immunocompromised. Especially less than a year old and anyone who has a decreased immune system, like people with cancer on chemotherapy. Saying West Nile won't go away. It's going to be living with us the same as COVID and the same as flu, the same as some other viral diseases. Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.